All right, uh, I'm back, and so I found the 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 last sock. So apparently, the way you get it, you have to destroy everything in uh, Squidward's house, which is odd because I was pretty sure I destroyed it. Uh, I thought I was pretty sure I destroyed everything the first time, but here we go. Hey, Squidward. Didn't I pay you to go away? Um, then I got a trophy, uh, for talking to Squidward for ten, uh, for talking to Squidward ten times with Spongebob, which <laughs> I find funny. But, hopefully, this will kind of help us with wherever we need to go. I don't know. I think he'll. He said he was gonna give us another golden spatula, right? Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, so I got eight now. But, I don't know. I still need two more. I love opening presents. So, I still need like 2,000 more just to get another one for him. Mr. Krabs. Don't fr oh. Did you find my Not yet. Oh. Alright, well. Huh. Let's check Spongebob's house and see if there's like anything I'm missing here. Wow. Give me some credit, kid. Huh. <laughs> I guess that's how the movie is right there. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, you know? A note from Miss- Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful- Wow! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new- Alright, well, we already know that. So much authorities. Uh, uh, Did I say maybe a little bounce on the old bed? Seriously, I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Alright, um... So, I really thought that that thing with Patrick would help. Guess I didn't. So what I'm gonna do is just I guess I'll just go back to the downtown bikini bottom and see if there's like anything I missed. And just 
see if I can get. Uh, I need ten golden spatulas, right, to go to Goo Lagoon. So like, I need to find two more golden spatulas somehow. And if not, I guess just grind out the two thousand shiny objects. Really. So, all right, yeah. Uh, I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back and let me just say I'm a big idiot. I'm like very very I can be very stupid at times. So I figured out how you can get through these and you literally press R1. Now like I'm really just face palming myself here. And I only figured it out because I was in um I was in downtown bikini bottom. and toys and mail hey huh w what oh yeah it's that sponge kid and now what was i supposed to tell you that patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help huh oh no i think it had something to do with massaging my feet well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! <laughs> what the hell? Um, oh so yeah. I only figured it out because I was in downtown Bikini Bottom. And I went by the Sea Needle Gate. I was just trying to figure out how I get through there because I paid for all that and yet I couldn't go. Then I pressed R1 and then it opened up. And at that point, I really just, I really just wanted to slap myself just because, just for not thinking of that. So I don't even know. And then, why is Mermaid Man's voice different? Unless, like, they, they remade, like, or they, you know, the, they redid all the voices. Because I don't know if in the original Boy, they, they had, I don't know if, the if in the original game that they had, um, I should do it again sometime. the original voice. But if it if it did, and they remade the um, you know they made the voice actors redo their lines for this game, then I know if they got different voice actors, it's because the I believe the voice actor for Mermaid Man, the one that you know everyone's used to, I know he passed away. So that would explain why he has a different voice, but if that's how he sounded like in the original, well, I don't know, it's probably the same situation with Mr. Krabs. But then it makes me think, is the voice actor for Mr. Krabs, like, is he gone too? There's no way. I feel like I would have heard about it. Or maybe, I don't know. Oh, nice. Alright. Oh, uh, when I jumped down from there, I could have gotten all those shiny objects, but whatever. <sighs> but at least, now that I cleared that up, I can't believe that I was getting stumped. I really was getting stumped by my, like, just my own stupidity. <laughs> I'm telling you, sometimes... It baffles me how I don't think. Oh, 
Uh, hopefully I don't run into an issue like that again with this game for the rest of this playthrough. Just imagine how much time I would have been able to save myself if I knew that from the very beginning. Alright, that's another switch, so... There's one more... Fresh like a spring breeze. But at the same time, I don't know, I just find it odd that they put that, because you know, this is still part of the same level. So... I don't know why they have to split it up unless, I don't know. I get maybe back then it was just because the levels probably were way too big, so they had to do that. But at the same time, like I played the SpongeBob movie game, which came after this, and the levels in there were a little longer, if you ask me. The uh, uh, whatever. What do I know? All right, let's go on here. SpongeBob. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the. Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, so now I'm playing as Patrick. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Cool, it's nice to be playing as Patrick. Nice. Alright. I guess that just comes to show you that, uh... That feels better. I just comes to show you that uh, Patrick is really strong. Oh, uh, so he—that's <laughs> actually cool. He—he he attacks with his belly. Okay, so bus stops are how you switch between characters. Makes sense. I don't even know why I just did that. Oh, but there's a fruit there, so. So shiny! We sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Ooh, a present in every one! This game pretty big. Oh, just barely. Patrick Teeter totter. All right, let's try this out. Oh, that's cool. So we can just do this. And Patrick's durability really makes things much easier. Ah, oh, and this. Well, at least I got some shiny objects out of that. But, anyways, you know that whole thing, Patrick tough thing kind of reminds me of uh for some reason it reminds me of that episode of uh hey you barnacle head watch where you're going the rock is talking to me oh mighty rock 
I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, Patrick can really be an idiot. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, that episode of Salty Splatoon, what is it called? Is it is the episode really called like no weenies allowed? But just that part when like Patrick is like beating himself up, <laughs> I always Ooh, found that hilarious. Scary dark cave. I don't even know how he was able to do that, but <laughs> it's just so hilarious. I when I was little, I honestly thought it was SpongeBob doing it. You know, like where just some invisible person came out of nowhere. Which, I don't know, I, got, I guess I always thought that was kind of odd. But now that I'm older, it makes more sense that it was actually Patrick just doing it to himself, somehow. I guess that really explains why Spongebob was all like, You're supposed to let me win, remember? And also how he got mad. Also when he got mad when Spongebob called him Teddy. <laughs> oh, that's just so hilarious. I wonder, could... Could Plank- or could Plankton- could... Patrick? <laughs> have gotten into the salty Splatoon, but at the same time, I don't think he would have wanted to or could have, because he really was like a, like a regular at Weenie Head Juniors, as we as we would find out. Oh. No! Oh. All right. Let's oh. You don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits Ouch. quite right? Ooh. Ouch! Ouch! Damn, these caves are like death traps. How many of these do I have to carry? Ouch. Oh, I'm not feeling too well. <gasps> no! Oh, I died. Wow, I can't believe I actually died. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, that's close to touching me. Ooh, wooden presents. Ooh, up we go. Wow, I really screwed that up. Offered some shiny objects. There you go.
Wait, so I can jump while carrying this? Nope, no I can't. And I screwed that up. And then there's a reason why there are two there. That's not a sock. Oh my god. You know I had to get that. I just had to. Gotta get all the collectibles, you know? <laughs> 